Hello everybody, welcome back. We are almost finished playing through Surviving the Aftermath. We have almost got every achievement, which is hilarious. We have almost progressed far enough. That's no problem. Sidetracked. That's just the maintenance depot. It's fine, you guys keep working. Um, we've almost finished off the main story, the project tomorrow. We've got new trade deals we can do. Ah, oh, doing so well. Um, the one resource we need, the metal, doesn't seem to be available is a bit of a bugger and no one's selling electronics either but um yeah i don't really want any of this we were in the process of doing some of these missions uh 16 hours to raise the fortified location have we got enough people healed and a car ready to go i guess we kind of do well not really these guys are terribly injured probably not then we probably won't be able to do that one and the wild animals we probably won't be able to do either. So instead what we'll do, I'll try and try and win some uh, sorry, win some favor back with my fellow fellow friends by building some things for them. So I've built the trade depot there. I'm gonna build the trade depot here. And my plan is just to build trade depots for everyone to speed up the trading post, sorry. Uh, to speed up our trades with everyone, just so I can get the items that I need quicker. Um, hey bro, could you deal with this body that's just lying here? Oh, it was a child. Oh man, that is dark. That's really sad. Um, might switch you off rare metals for a bit. Six hundred, just because I need I need more metal. Let's switch over to metal now. Brilliant. Make this one the rare metal one. Those two can be metal and junk. Underground plastic depleted. Hunting cabin. Efficiency too low. What the hell happened? Oh, you're not supposed to be up there. It's these guys that are supposed to be up there. Oops. Put them in the wrong space. Uh, okay, that's... We can now build... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can now build the refinery. And it fits perfectly right there. Hell, let's do it. Probably will need to build a lightning rod around here now that I've got. Let's have a quick look. It's our protection from lightning. Check a tower up here, hey? Those buildings are kind of caught, but our greenhouses aren't very protected. If I chuck a lightning tower here, at least. At least I know the greenhouses are good. You're not close enough. Yeah, that'll do. lower priority than the well because we're actually burning through water really quickly. I didn't realize that our water needs had grown so quickly. Uh, energy needs were just smashing through. Water's been a bit of a, a problem. Uh, but otherwise we're doing really really well. Uh, we should be just about to finish up with the other two, three systems. Um, that's going to take no time at all. Colonist is acting weird. One of the colonists has been acting off lately. She's having a hard time completing simple tasks, and even as she walks, she veers from side to side. When asked about it, she insists she's fine, but when pushed, she admits to finding a spring a few days ago from which she's been drinking. Go to the medic. Or I should check the water. Check the water. She shows the way to the spring. On the surface, the water looks clean and safe to drink, but as a few colonists follow the stream, they discover a point of contamination. Clearly, the water is polluted and the woman is suffering from radiation sickness. The woman is clearly shocked by the discovery, and after being treated, she vows to stay away from dubious water sources. Ah, oh, why does everyone get sad from that? That wasn't a bad decision. That was a very rational, logical way to deal with that problem. Ah, oh, whatever. You see me caring? Do a little bit. Um, let's build some more storage, because we do have a massive issue with uh, storage at the moment. Oh, good, it uses metal. Ah, hello friend. Ooh, yeah, I'll trade that for parts. Oh, I could have asked what else he had. Never mind. Um, wait, don't need you guys on the case anymore. Growing, growing, growing. Right, brilliant, okay. Medical lab's doing well. Pumping out things quickly. Oh, we got a new request. Ah, we failed that one. That's okay. 
Doesn't matter anymore. We're all part of a part of a collective. Uh, yeah. So uh, I need to move my bakery. Hmm. We're not going to use the concrete scavenger again. In fact, while we're not in the middle of a storm, let's do this a bit more intelligently. Let's chuck another storage here. Uh, here. Water tower, large water tower. Why do I have a water tower here? Does the blight lab need one? Um, in that case then, why don't we build a large water tower here, which supplies that area much better. Delete this, and if we need a large transformer, could I put one in here instead? Does that still supply everyone? Yes, it does. Although, to be honest, that's probably not too much in the way. Um, Alright, put the bakery here now. Bakery here. Yeah, to be honest, that's fine there, and we'll put the lightning tower if we can. Um, yeah, that'll do. That covers all these areas nicely. Oh no, I need them for over here too now. These guys use lightning. Oh no. Can I fit a lightning tower in here? Nope. What about a lightning rod? I didn't realize these were electronic buildings, but of course they are. I can't build one in there either. Mate. if I was to replace one of the houses with one. Better if I could place the water there with one, but is that water providing? Yeah. Alright, I'll need to get rid of this plastic. It's just that simple. And, uh, but once that bakery's built, I can demolish this one. Once we've built this, I can demolish this and then we can extract this plastic and get this out of the way and start building stuff in there too. That'll be good. Um, and all of this stuff in here. I moved this mill. I could put a lightning tower in here once these are gone. <laughs> In fact, if I moved this water tower in here... Yeah, 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 here we go. Oh, no, sorry. Could I chuck one in here? Ooh, just no. Only just no, though. Is that a large water tower? Yeah. That's providing that one. Does it need to be here? It's just these buildings that need it. What if I put a... It's just those ones. If I put another water tower in here somewhere, it'd be fine. Like down here. That'd even supply these ones nicely, and I could potentially get rid of that one. Or if I put it up here, then I could get rid of that and put the lightning tower there. That is tempting. Okay, let's get rid of the mill. I'll have this mill here instead. I'll leave that for the moment, but if I was to build a lightning tower... I couldn't build it very good. Okay, that's okay though. That's okay, that's okay. We're, this is actually, this is actually great. Uh, research. Let's knock off the last of the research. So we've done the hoppers. Let's load up you. And then research you. You next. Ah, it takes off that. That's okay, we'll do that though. Okay, this is good, this is good. We're starting to get a bit more efficient with our setup, so we're doing a bit of rearranging. How's our blight lab coming along? We should be, we should be getting loads of blight. Yeah, we're almost there. Um, actually, speaking of, how are our terraformers doing? You guys need more blight. Not really a lot for you to terraform there. Let's move you up to here. What about you over here? How are you doing? 26%. If I dropped you down there a little bit. Just a little bit over this way. 
That does 95% sound. Oh, it would be good to get some of those. Okay. Let's upgrade you again. Let's, let's try upgrade you. Right, because we don't have any, do we? Oh, yeah, we got a few. Okay, now we're good, actually. Um, I will actually pump Moondust. We're already done. Let's get a, a bunch of extra electronics. If I can. Nah, no one's trading for them. We'll get some components, though. And... Yeah, that'll do. Just do a simple trade. No other moon rocks. Okay. Probably would be a good idea to move the cinema to a, the entertainment district that's sort of forming up here. Let's have a look at that then. If I was to move the cinema, would it fit anywhere here? Uh, not very nicely. But it would free that area up for me. I mean, it doesn't fit in nicely in there. I'll think about it. Alright. As soon as this is built, I'll demolish this one. Plastic extractor there. Okay. Plastic extractor. Great. That's ready. And uh, we could probably uh, jump here. I'm going to give you another person to go with. Um, what you need? Tygon, you do 20 damage. Come out to the world map, buddy. Your orders. In the car. Uh, what were the requests? Are any of these loner specialists hunt wild animals? Yeah. Ah, it's going to take you three turns to get there. Now, nah, don't worry about it. Um, Let's go. We've got a scout with us. Areas to investigate. No, doesn't look like it. Well, why don't you come and free up our little area there? Got one there. That's it. Yeah, let's get our let's get our thing back open. What are we doing for buffer? 20, 28 spare homes. So fine, basically. Looks like these guys are making lots of food. So it is best to just make the mixed meal, isn't it? That would make sense to me. Burning through firewood. Um, three people. Same for this one over here. Yeah, okay. Never mind. How many carriers do we have? 18 carriers. That's, you'd think that'd be pretty good to get all these resources into a storage area. Um, let's chuck another one. Look, all of these can go. We're just not going to use them. That's okay, if we put them here, I'll find a use for some stuff. I'll figure it out. Okay, speed up time a bit because we just want to gather knowledge. Oh, sorry, we've got a new specialist scout. Yeah, welcome aboard. Why not? So life support's done, medicine's done, it's just defense and ecosystem which will be done in like five minutes I reckon. It. Awesome. Uh, I think it's time to start building more, um, uh, more of the, uh, what's it called? Um, terraformers. Although we're about to unlock the advanced terraformer. So, yeah. Yeah. 
Fifty percent less energy would work on larger patches. Probably larger patches. I was going to say fifty percent less energy, but our energy production is so good at the moment. Uh, although I say that. Great convoy. Okay. Are there any more trades we want to do? Yeah, let's get some more firewood. It looks like we're using a lot of firewood at the moment. And I wouldn't mind having some extra iodine too, because we just we we do burn through iodine pretty quick. Happy to sell medicine in exchange for that and just pay the pay the difference in uh, fish and venison. Okay. Brilliant. Sweet, you guys don't have anything else I can build. Um Well plus one population plus one population plus three population. Hmm. I might give them a plus three population because I think the more is it worth having is it worth giving them a better population? Fifty percent rival control, ten silver per day. Maybe it's better to do that in that case. If you sent less population lost in bandit raids, yeah, let's do rental housing then. Two population per day, ten silver. That'll do. Plus, it's resources I can spare. Sort of. No, it's not. It's metal. How are you guys doing? That's right, you guys are going to come down here and take out these guys. My pleasure. Locked and loaded. Oh, did you run out of the car? <laughs> Whoops. Going in. Wait, do you make that little difference? What? Okay, so I'm sitting out of the car. <laughs> yep, that'll do. He's got a good fight. 20 damage. Yeah. Just get here as quickly as you can, guys. Holy shit. Uh, let's repair another car. Oh. Hey. Right, okay. Um, what are we going to do? I might just drop the... It's like the music's getting a bit, a bit loud. Alright, that'll do. Yep, keep him. That'll do. Alright, um, what are we going to do? So we're almost... Oh, here we go. 100% for ecosystem. 100% for um, defense in like two seconds. We're going to get there. You ready? I don't even need to build this stuff. Collected all the resources that are here? Yeah, they have, thank goodness. Um, yeah. We're gonna get there. Come on, speed up, speed up. Let's do it. Meteor shower. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, we've got. Meteor shower is the least worst for us, to be perfectly honest. Um, we will build another maintenance depot, though. I was, I was actually thinking about building one anyway, so that's perfect. Maintenance Depot, is they're under here, are they? Mechanic Shop, Maintenance Depot. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So, if I get through to the beginning of the new day, will we drop across into the next one? Here we go. That was it. Go to the bunker's construction site. Here we go. The memory of the attack on the colony doesn't fade, and many are nervous of the attackers returning. The enemy suffered heavy casualties, and so far they have opted to lay low, but there's no telling whether they'll eventually return. The Doomsday Bunker is complete. It's a significant achievement for the people who only some time ago were living in tents and scavenging scraps of food. Maybe that was the reason for everything. The enemy faction was afraid that there was a new power rising in the wasteland. Someone who is capable of challenging them. They were right. Activate the bunker to permanently remove all catastrophes except for winter. Sure. So does that mean the meteor shower just doesn't happen? Amazing. Uh, let's research that, and then... Is that all the researching done? I think we're also... 
Oh, we've got one more here. Let's load that bad boy up. And then I think we've basically researched everything. Oh my goodness, amazing. Fantastic. What a result. Here we go, new dawn. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Opening the doors into the doomsday bunker is a symbol of a new beginning. Reaching this goal demanded many sacrifices, but the hope for something better pushed everyone forward, even during the darkest of times. Now it is finally done, and a deafening cheer echoes through the colony. Parents hug their children, choked up from the thought of feeling safe and protected from the hostile world. This is just a single step toward a better future, but its impact reaches even the outskirts of the wasteland. For once, tomorrow looks bright. Congratulations! You have completed the main questline, and your colony is now safe from most catastrophes. You may now continue building your colony, or return back to the main menu. We will continue, uh, only because I did want to do the terraforming. Uh, so we're going to move all of our focus now onto just creating blight samples, basically. Um, we're pretty much safe from all other things. We're not going to have to worry too much about sending people out to the wasteland as much anymore, so I say we now... Ah, oh, actually, that's really cool. Look at it. It is terraforming. Um, I say we now start getting into the, the nitty-gritty of uh, collecting blight samples. Let's get some more. I think we can upgrade... Uh, what are they? Sorry. Gone past them. Oh, no, that's right. They're in here. Um, no, they're not. They're in health. Are they in health? No. They were in here. Are they? Engineer depot, basic truth, garage, radar, society depot... Are they in resources? Yeah, they're here. Purification post. Um, we we'll be able to fit two there. No, definitely not. But let's slam that bad boy down. And as soon as I can upgrade my terraformers, I will. Um, hell. Got the moon rocks to spare. Let's pump up the jam. And I want you to be rare metal and you to be metal over here. Perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. That's amazing. I can't. I can't believe we've. Uh, can't believe we've done it. Ah, oh, there was more plastic over there. Huh. Turns out I could have kept those buildings, and there's more rubble as well. We could have kept our concrete rubble collectors as well. But we didn't. So we're gonna move on. Um. That's awesome. That's uh, that's so good. So we should we should be almost done, right? How are you stuck on ninety percent? Have we not been producing lots of blight? Ah. Oh, I think the terraformers have been stealing all the blight. Um, in that case, then does it make sense to pause the terraformers, seeing as they're eating through our entire blight supply? so that I can get the advanced terraformer and finish all of the Blight Lab research. Probably makes sense. The hazmat station would be good to have. Yeah, okay. I think I will, actually. Um, I trade for Blight to anyone? Trading Blight? No, but you are trading beetles and components, which is perfect. And you even want to give me your components. Fish. Is there anything you want? It's not fuel. Uh, I've got fish. I've got venison. Uh, we've got plastic. I could probably sell a bit of plastic. Nice. Make a bit of money on that. Uh, actually, is there anyone else we can trade stuff? Uh, anyone else we can build stuff for? Looks like we're already building that. Actually, let's just quickly check. Yeah, you guys are ready for some stuff. Let's build another thing. Um... I built a trading post? Yes, I have. Uh, okay, so... I think we'll do... We don't need science. I think we'll do the plus two population, plus ten silver. Why not, hey? I can't believe we did it. That was awesome. Um, that's amazing. We can really start speeding up time a bit here. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe I'll come back when I have caught up on the terraforming. Maybe it makes sense for me to do a bit of the terraforming in the background and, and come back in a bit, because I probably don't need to see all of this. I'm just thinking, like, how exciting is it watching me carry on with no danger? 
there's a car there you guys can claim. Yeah, take that car. Oh no, that's the other group I sent down to save you. Um, yeah, look, why don't you come over and why don't you guys do that mission? Yeah, as well, we're here. I guess you guys, you're only a little bit hurt. Ah, oh, come on back. Figure something out for you. Yes, I'm wondering if... Oh, yeah, I'm wondering if... Uh, maybe what we do is come back uh, once I've had a bit of a chance to shoot ahead. Maybe that's what we do. Still, yeah, maybe maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll, I'll jump ahead a little bit. I'll, I'll come yes. back in once we've finished. But huh? let me know. Yeah, let me know what you think. If yes. uh, if you'd like to see more games like this, if there's any other games you'd like me to check out, let me know because uh, I'd love to love to start playing more stuff like this. I love these games. I'm having a load of fun playing this. Keep me posted. But um, I mean, we'll keep we we'll keep going for the moment. We're not quite at the half hour mark yet. Get to the half hour mark, hey. Surely we've got some more. Why? I don't think they're delivering blight to these guys. I think they're just delivering it to the uh, terraformers. I might, if I pause them, I might pause the terraforming for the moment. Let's get the blight lab discoveries out. Okay? I want all of that blight to be at the speed of time. I want all that blight to go to the blight lab. I need this plastic to go to. Oh, that's going to take ages. It hasn't actually even started. It's because there's only one person on it. That'll do it. Alright, we should have some black going soon. So, yeah, I wonder what it... Oh, survivors! Welcome, my friends. Welcome. Any spare 13. I'm pretty sure I saw some moon rocks up here. Did. Planting, cultivating, growing. Yeah, we should we should have some blight. Loads of blight. We have so much blight. Why is none of it being delivered to the blight lab? Carriers? Do we not have enough carriers? Maybe we don't have enough carriers. Maybe they're being taken up by other tasks. Well, we can flood the market with carriers. That's easy. There we go. Finally. Let's have a look. Yeah, we want bigger. I think we want the bigger area. Although, less energy. 50% less energy per building to operate. Workers create larger patches of improved soil and planting modified blight samples. But that that's actually better because it, that sounds like it's more efficient with the blight. It uses less blight. Yeah. That sounds like it's using less blight to do the same job. So I'm going to do that one. So we'll do that. Um, we've also got any items that we want to trade. No, no one's trading blight anymore. is so bad around here. Good lord. But we do have 273 blight samples. As soon as people start delivering that to the blight lab, that should... Yeah, it's only a thousand that we need. We should be able to get there in no time. We might even be able to do it this episode. Uh, maybe not this episode. We should be able to do it pretty soon. Uh, Alright, any other research in this line? No. Any other research in this line? No. Any other research in infrastructure? No. Any other research in community? No. Safety? Oh my god. Yep, one more. I was going to say, oh my god, I think we've done it. But that's... I think that's it. That's the last research project to go. We unlock that, we're done. I wonder if there'll be like a little achievement for that. That'd be nice. 
Actually, now that we've got a lot of resources, what do we unlock? Ah, the advanced terraformer. Yeah, I might upgrade, I'll upgrade these into the advanced terraformer if I can. Uh, it costs stuff that I don't want to spend just now. Eighty-three electronics. We do have a fair few electronics. Now nah, let's just speed up time. I'm just going to be patient for the moment. I don't think there's any need to, to smash that up a bit. Bandits are approaching. Uh, okay. Ah, an unusually aggressive group of bandits marches toward the gate. Their chants are filled with bloodlust and can be heard from a good distance away. They look tough, and taking them on would be risky. An offering of some sort might appease them for the moment. I'm going to threaten them. The threats only serve to escalate the group's skin-prickling chants. They bang their weapons against their chests, demanding blood. There's nothing to do but fight. Now oh, that's fine. We'll take him out. Watch this. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, we've got to get that number below... S uh, below... F three, two, one. We'll just be okay. Oh, no, we lost. Dang it. That's going to be a whole bunch of bad guys in the... Uh, That's right, there's only one dude. Two dudes. This would be easy. It's lucky we had so many specialists around, eh? Done. That was close, we almost, uh. If we, uh. It's the gate. Perfect, okay, let's get everyone back on carrying. Ah. Perfect, they have to deliver those blight samples. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, was anyone selling any more beetles? No, that's fine. Could probably speed up production by making some more ranches, actually. Let's do it. So, I can't build one there because that road is there. No, not anymore. I want to be able to build that there. Well, two more ranches. But the meteor shower shouldn't hurt us, right? Is that how I interpreted that before? Um, some building's going to take serious hits. No, okay, never mind. We're... Oh. Cancel. So we failed this and they lose five population. That doesn't seem good. That doesn't seem good at all. Um, can we build them a school? Who wanted a school? You want a school. Can I build you a school? Wall town? I'm already building you something. Rental housing. Can I cancel that? Damn it. Oh! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Lost Ark. We are back for what is probably going to be our final episode of Surviving the Aftermath now. I'm going to leave the game paused for the moment. I've made a few additions and expansions to the colony in the meantime since we last checked in. We uh, had unlocked the last of the research, so we went ahead and put down the last of the entertainment buildings. I ended up kind of expanding to this area with an additional kitchen and some more saunas. We were starting to get some, uh, some dirty people. Uh, and we, as you can see, we're also sort of dealing with a bit of a hunger issue just because of the way our food is distributed. Um, I expanded our energy network a little bit, started to expand up into here with more housing. Uh, what else have we done since then? Um, rearranged this area down here, uh, put in a whole bunch of tailors and tool shops in a nice little line here, as well as some more storage because we're starting to run out of storage. Um, we'd already finished expanding the greenhouse area, uh, built a few more new as you can see here, we've started to really expand our energy network. Um, it's pretty good at the moment, mainly because we're paused, <laughs> but it'll, it'll even out when I open it up. Um, built a few more of the Blight Labs, and uh, we also finished upgrading, uh, we unlocked the last of the Blight Lab discoveries, which in this case uh, gave us access to the Hazmat Station, which is an improvement for the environmental station. I had built two of them, I have now since actually demolished them. We didn't need them anymore. If we come up and have a bit of a look over the map, all of those blight cores are all gone. We have actually removed every single one on the map. There is no pollution left. We've actually unlocked the achievement for pollution. Um, and we have finished uh, purifying a lot of the land here. Um, 
I've had the environmental stations working overtime. Uh, our greenhouses were producing a lot of blight samples. I've now actually switched them off and things just because we didn't need that much blight sample anymore. And as you can see, we've got our terraformers working really hard. And there's a huge expanse up all up through here, down around here, that we've actually terraformed to the point where we're at 99%. So I obviously, as soon as I saw that, paused and we are jumping back in. So I thought I'd show off that area first. In terms of resources, we've maintained a pretty nice balance. I don't think this has changed any of these numbers significantly. Um, our fuel depot finished processing all of our oil pretty much into fuel, and we've uh, been burning through our pollution pretty quickly as we use it for, uh, for power. So, so I might have a quick check to see if there's anyone who's willing to trade me. No. So, let's unpause. Just about to unlock the 100%, so perfect timing. Yeah, otherwise it's been not not too much has been happening. I've been keeping it pretty chilled out. Um, we did a bit of an expansion down here with some more uh, sawmills. Actually, I'm going to bring that into a, a sawmill. And we've got a logging camp here just to maintain our firewood. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> I had a feeling it was going to come quickly. Terraforming monstrosity. Ground begins to rumble and tremors pass through the colony. A roar as loud as thunder echoes from the forest. Terraforming efforts have awoken something gargantuan, and it is approaching the colony. Sound the alarm and get ready. Your nightmare just arrived. Alrighty, let's just pause that really quickly. Oh boy, it's a lot. Uh, looks like it's a huge swarm. Alright, so we're just going to keep it paused for the moment. Get everyone to focus on the gargantuan monster first. There's a reason I left a lot of specialists here and kept them from going uh, out and about. Um, oh, sure. Let's move this while uh, <laughs> while we're in this lovely pause state to harvest some more stuff down here. All right, let's go. Oh, they're pretty slow. All right, I'll speed up time a little bit. I also went through and built a few more uh, guard towers just to protect us. We just need to focus on the big one. Oh, there's a blight in the area too. Uh, if we can focus on the monstrosity. Oh, shit, is our specialist almost dead? Oh my god. We need guards. Alrighty. I should, have, I should have been employing more guards. Oh, man. Let's just get some more guards. Yep, that's a special. It's two specialists dead. Oh my god. Okay, we are not ready for this fight. It turns out. Um, what happens if we lose this? Do we lose the game? Oh boy. That's all our specialists dead. Um. Hey, buddy. Uh, it's pretty bad. Kill this thing. Oh god, where have I got more guards? Let's just fill up all the guard towers. Oh man. Why are they using their... Uh... Oh good, we can recruit a specialist. Oh, you do loads of damage too. Perfect timing, Prowler. Um... Oh, here you go, there's a whole bunch of guards here. Guys, I need you on this, like, yesterday. Come for the big one. Let's get the Blighted Queen out of the way, eh? We've still got to deal with the monstrosity. I'm not sure where it is. I think it's like hiding in the woods somewhere. Oh, we've got an achievement. I didn't see what it was because I'm too busy. Oh, there it is. Change of plan. Deal with the monstrosity. It's going to turn all my guards into blighted people. We've got a whole bunch of people coming. We're about to get a whole bunch of blighted colonists. Oh, this is bad. That person's now blighted, and they immediately come back as a blighted entity, I'm pretty sure. No, they just die. Oh, boy. This is bad. This is... I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Oh, uh, there's a few of us now. Okay, that's okay. We might be okay. 
take out the big monstrosity, then we can focus on the smaller ones. Okay, brilliant. Just take this out, and then is there another one I need to take out? Right, brilliant, and then just take out this one. And then we're good, we actually did it. Oh my goodness. It cost us only all of our specialists. <laughs> Ones that we'd been saving up for ages that we'd worked really hard to get. Lucky it worked out that actually no one got blighted. Okay, quite nice there, actually. Uh -huh. It's interesting this isn't like coming to attack us. Oh, here we go. Speed up time a little bit and then we'll. Uh... There we go. That's it. Take everyone off guard duty. Um, I think that's it. I think we're... There we go. Green fields and lush forests have appeared where cracked dry soil and ponds of toxic waste used to reside. The blight has been pushed back, deep into the wasteland, and there is newfound optimism in the air. People are more determined than ever to push through any and all obstacles. They no longer see a desolate world, but a future with green planet new civilization on the rise. The colony is no longer the last city on Earth, because in the aftermath, the end is just the beginning. Brilliant. Okay, so... We've got an infection going around the colony, but otherwise... Does it terraform all of the land? I was hoping for like a bit of a visual change to show the uh, terraforming process. It's okay. That's all right. We'll keep our terraformers working away. I think. Uh, okay. So then, I guess the question now is: Your orders. Who's next? Huh? Others. Oh, that's the big one. 142 blights samples. What? Can we build any more advanced terraformers? Yeah, we can. I guess we could do that then. We could build a whole bunch more advanced terraformers and. What's that symbol mean? Yeah. There's nothing true. We did it. How exciting is that? That's uh, that's all done. Um, amazing. Um, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for joining me for uh, for this. I think it's been a. Uh, I could have upgraded this. Hopefully, that'll get rid of the contamination. I get the sense of it. Um, thank you so much for joining me for this. It's been lots and lots of fun. If there's any other games you'd like to look at, any other especially single-player games that you'd like to have a look at, just let me know and I'm in. Um, I'd love to take a bit of a look at them. But for now, thank you so much. That's all from me. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye everybody.